Before we get into today's video, I'd just like to give a massive shout out to the members. If you do want to have more of a conversation about new LEGO sets, perhaps you want to show off some of your LEGO sets that you've picked up or some builds that you've put together, be it a set, be it a mock, the conversation is welcome on the members Discord and you can also upgrade to Brick Tier to have access to every single set of instructions I've ever made for any of my mocks, which personally I think is an amazing deal. But today we will be taking five of these microfighter Captain Rex Y-Wings and using all the pieces from them to make a minifigure scout Y-Wing. You may be asking, is this possible? Well, it's definitely very, very hard at the very least because there's not a lot of good pieces here. There's a lot of small two by two round bricks, a lot of even smaller one by one plates, one by three plates and just awkward pieces. But I have well, I've built something. I have made a minifigure scout wire wing. This did take me quite a few days just trying to work out where to start and trying to get all the dimensions of this because if you look at Rex's wire wing and we take Rex the minifigure out, it's only two and a bit lengths of Rex. Well, take a look at the picture on your screen and you can see that the actual wire wing is actually over 12 times the height of Rex. So it's going to be at least six times as long as this. As I don't want to dedicate a month to just building a wire wing that at best looks semi-decent, I decided that I was going to go with the smaller model and just try and make the model as secure as possible. So let's take a look at the footprint of this set. As you can see, the Microfighter is a very small build. That is why it's part of the Microfighter series. And this is the footprint of the wire wing. It is exactly 28 bricks wide. And I think I said 53 bricks long, which is the smaller of the two Y-Wings. Comparing it to Captain Rex's Y-Wing, you can see that Rex does fit in each of these rectangles here. That's 12 Captain Rex Y-Wings, and that's not including the height. The height of this Y-Wing is about nine plates, and that goes up to the top of these slopes. And there's actually a plate on the back here's headrest, I guess, which does also match that nine brick height. Well, 20 plates is the height of the scaled wire wing. So we're looking at over 24 times the size of Captain Rex's wire wing. So how on earth have I managed to build it using five of these sets? I mean, it's not really many pieces. I think there's only about 80 odd pieces in this set, perhaps even 90 at best. And the answer is, I don't know. I just genuinely have no idea how I've managed to build this model. It is a bit fragile, it's not a playset, it's definitely fort display, and it doesn't look perfect. It's probably one of the worst alternate builds I have on the channel, but it works, it looks like a Y-Wing, and it does fit two characters, Rex and Ahsoka. Now, I haven't gone out and bought five of these Rex Y-Wings. I don't really have a reason to get more than one at the minute. I might try and get a second Rex when it goes on sale, but... I'd rather people that actually want to pick up Rex be able to pick up the set. So I have built this in studio and we can take a bit more of a detailed look at the separate sections of the Y-Wing. So I think we should start with the cockpit. This is what I think is the best part of the Y-Wing, at least the model that I've built. And you can see there is room for two minifigures. You can get Captain Rex in the front here. And I've actually changed how these seats are worked. I've used one of these round modified tiles to stop the figure sticking down because I think that sitting the figure down on all four studs, I get the people don't like it because they crack the legs more often, which is certainly the case for many clone trooper figures, especially with the white legs. It's slightly weaker than a few other colors, but I also think it's just harder and completely unnecessary to try and get a figure out of four studs. So I've held down the front and included the studs on the back, which I think is the easiest way to protect your figures and there is a back slot here which you can definitely put an Ahsoka minifigure in. I've tried to angle the cockpit as triangular as I can. There's a bunch of slopes included in the set. I would have preferred, well, these are actually classed as arches and these are rounded slopes. I would have preferred some more straight slopes to get a sharper angle, but I can see from a design point why they've gone with the rounded slopes. It does look a bit more interesting than just having a bunch of straight angles. And I've used some different techniques to try and get some angled blue here poking out and even included some slopes on the back. And overall, I think the cockpit was going well. This is the first thing I built and then it was on to the body. The reason I was trying to use five sets for this is because five sets would have everything I need for the cockpit. I think actually I only ended up using four sets at this point. 
but that didn't really give me many pieces for the body of the ship. I wanted to add some Griebelin in the middle and I did add quite a bit. I used some of the control panels in the back here. That's one of my favorite piece uses from throughout the whole build. And I also put to use a few of the spare Technic pieces and the bar elements just to create some wires that you do see running up the body of most of the different wire wings across all of the different types. But I think this is where the structure started to get a bit weaker. You can see on the bottom that I've used a lot of these smaller plates, try to combine them and just fill out the area, especially when we get to the back. I've made use of a load of the different pieces that are usually at the front here for the cockpit and just try to fill out the body as best that I can. Thankfully, when I was working on the engines, it gave me a few extra of these round bricks. So this is completely solid. All of these are connected with Technic pieces, even if the blue ones are used every other pinhole. But then we go on to the engines. Now, so far, you might think the white wings are looking pretty solid and you might be very intrigued to see what we've got for the engines. Well, we don't actually have many pieces left and I did build the engines before going back and doing this. So we had a few slopes in that, but there wasn't really a way to connect them. So the engines end up looking a bit thin. And honestly, I don't think there is a way I can go around this without including, it's not even a case of including a six set because each two of these is a whole nother set that is needed. So if you wanted four of these on each side, you've got two, four, six, eight, 12 more sets just to make the back look right. Okay, you probably don't need exactly 12. You could probably use some bar elements and try and cheat the system a little bit, but you are gonna need quite a few more sets. And just for the engines, it seemed a bit silly to do. So I think the engines are a little let down. They definitely don't look terrible. They get the idea of the Y wing across. This is again, meant to be the one from the original trilogy, a bit broken down. Perhaps there's a different version that's just kept a core at the back rather than the four different engine bits. But after spending a few days trying to plan out this model, I didn't want to delay the video any further. So definitely let me know what you think about the Y wing. If you want to give it a go and try and build your own, definitely let me know down in the comments. If you end up making a video or posting it anywhere, be sure to tag me and I'd love to check out any of your models. So that is my best attempt at a minifigure scale Y wing model. I'll probably revisit this at some point and use a few of my own pieces because it's a real struggle trying to just use the pieces from a microfighter of all sets. So I would appreciate dropping a like to make this video worthwhile and also subscribe before you go. Don't miss out on the next one because I will also be building a minifigure scale swamp speeder and this one's going to be much much easier to do. Anyway that's all for today and may the bricks be with you always.